Benzie County deputies say a 57-year-old Florida man is lucky to be alive after his car hit a tree, flipped over, and burst into flames. This all happened around 2.30 Monday morning on Shorewood Drive in Frankfurt. 7 and 4's Allison Scott has the sights and sounds connected with this accident. She joins us now live in the studio. Allison. Courtney, Sergeant Mark Ketz and Deputy Joe Send are being credited with saving the man's life early Monday morning. This call is what Benzie County Sheriff's deputies are saying helped save a man's life. At first I thought it was a motorcycle and because uh, just the loud, loudness of it and the way he was shifting. And then uh, when I heard the bang and it was just dead silence, it was scary. Deputies arrived on the scene in seven minutes and immediately started helping the man. Those moments were captured on this dash cam video. We saw an arm come out of the window, basically waving, and then uh, heard a gentleman inside hollering for help. So at that point, we, we realized that this is serious. This car's on fire. It's upside down. This, this person is obviously pinned, can't get out on their own. Now we have to try to get them out. Deputies then grabbed fire extinguishers and worked quickly to pull the man out of the burning car. Deputies say the man was driving a 2002 Aston Martin convertible. It's hilly, cur curvy, windy. You know, you can't get fast on these roads up here. But then he never slowed down. He just kept shifting. I mean, he was going faster all the time. Never, never slowed down. Sergeant Ketz and Deputy Send were able to pull the man from the car in about two minutes. I like to think that any, any police officer or first responder put in the same position would do the exact same thing. It fell upon um, Deputy Send and I to, to respond and get the job done. The man was taken to Munson Medical Center in Traverse City and treated for minor injuries. Deputies believe alcohol is a factor, but the accident is still under investigation. Reporting live in the studio, Allison Scott, 7 and 4 News. All right, thank you, Allison. Deputies say the speed limit on Shorewood Drive is 35 miles per hour, but they believe the man was driving at a speed of around 70 miles per hour.